Wolfgang Schäuble, Germany's veteran finance minister, has been voted for for the second time as European Finance Minister of the Year by the FT's panel of experts. It's no surprise that Mr. Schäuble should be the winner because the German economy has performed pretty well through the Eurozone crisis. Growth has held up, unemployment is down to 3%, exports are still good, and Mr. Schäuble has managed to use the time to cut his budget deficit. But the Eurozone crisis goes on. My first question to Mr. Schäuble was, does he see a light at the end of the tunnel? It's difficult to convince markets because the architecture of the monetary union in Europe is very complex, complicated. But if you look at the real figures, we are not so bad and therefore we are moving step by step and I see some light at the end of the tunnel. Would you like to put a time scale on it? Is it another year, another three years? I think in, in, in another year uh, the, the main concern of financial markets will move to other uh, parts of the world economy. One of the reasons the financial markets in Europe seem to have got calmer is the announcement by Mario Draghi at the European Central Bank that he was prepared to go back to bond buying in his outright monetary transactions. Do you think that the future stability of the Eurozone depends ultimately on the European Central Bank being the backstop, and how long can that go on? The fundamental problems of the a monetary union of the common currency of some member states, a lack of uh, competitiveness in some member states, and uh, too high uh, indebtedness and uh, too high deficits. That has to be solved by the member states and by the Eurozone as a whole, and not by monetary policy of the ECB. One of the reasons the judges uh, voted for you as the Finance Minister of the Year was that they felt you were a person who really had a vision of the way forward, that you had argued very strongly that more Europe is necessary. Can you just tell me what you mean by more Europe, a fiscal union, a political union? What more needs to be done? Together, Europe is uh, at, at by far the strongest uh, economic part of the world. The European currency is 25% uh, of, uh, uh, of all reserves, of currency reserves in the world are in, in, Euro, in Euro. And if we wouldn't have the Euro, actually, if you look at the dollar and the yen and the renminbi, we would have to invent the Euro. Therefore, uh, we, I, I think the right way. But of course, um, a common currency requests uh, a common fiscal policy that, has only, that can only be achieved step by step. But does it also mean tax harmonisation? Does it mean telling everybody that there's a limit on the amount of social spending they can do? In, in the globalised world, we must um, find more harmonisation even in, in tax systems. One of the rating agencies has just downgraded France. And you talk about competitiveness, the need for more competitiveness. Are you worried that France is not doing enough to improve its competitiveness? I am uh, confident that the decisions the French uh, government, French president, has announced and has taken uh, partly are in the right direction. And I am very confident France remains very strong. What's your biggest worry now? What do you think is the biggest challenge that the next year holds for you in resolving this crisis? The most important issue is to support Greece to come on a way to regain growth, to regain competitiveness. And in, in this way, the efficiency of the system, the, the institutions of Brussels is uh, weakened. And I think the most important thing is to enhance this efficiency of the European institutions. And as for Germany, are you doing enough in Germany as growth slows down to be the locomotive of the Eurozone economy? You see yourself as that, but are you doing enough? That's always a question, what can you do more? We, uh, we have uh, fulfilled, we have delivered to all obligations we have taken in Europe. We are sticking to our international, global and European obligations. Of course, we are all thinking, how can we enhance growth? For example, we have uh, to work, we have a huge task in what we call the, 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 the change in energy, energy supply is a huge task. Thank you, Minister, very much, and congratulations once again. Thank you.